Hi folks, Scott Sager with you again here in the RTC TV4 studios. We've got another political candidate who's going to be on your ballot here in Fulton County. And uh, we'll jump right into the discussion here. Welcome to the studio. Thank you very much for having me. Tell everyone your name. I'm Casey Hensley and I'm a Republican. I am running for Fulton County Surveyor. I've been in the office for about eight years now. Okay. And in the I, surveyor's office? In the surveyor's Great. office. I'm a deputy surveyor. Okay. So what that actually means uh, is if something were unfortunately to happen to Don and he couldn't do his job, mm -hmm. by state law, I actually have the qualifications to, to step in, step in okay. and fill his role until whatever the next election would be. Right. So, We're not wishing you any ill will there, Don. Absolutely the not. <laughs> As we um, sit on his couches and chairs. No, um, but he he has endorsed me. I did <laughs> ask his permission and thoughts before Great. I jumped into this race. So he's been a good supporter of me. I, I actually have an associate's and applied science degree in environmental health and safety. Excellent. So that works in multifunctions, mm -hmm. uh, especially with this job. It works a lot more with the DNR. Uh, the safety of the environment since our number one priority is water. Mm -hmm. So the main goal for our office is always flood control. Okay. Primarily, not so much in the city limits, but rural communities. Mm -hmm. If we didn't do our job and we didn't do our job properly, a lot of farmers would have a huge devastation mm -hmm. through crop loss, things like that. Uh, we still have 100-year-old tile in the county. So right. we're always working with this old clay yeah. and it breaks and... You know, I've I've done over 21 tile reconstructions. I'm in the process of working on three right now. I have a hearing next next week for one. Uh, we're attempting to help Bellwood again. Okay. So I'm hoping that goes well for these people. Lord knows they need it. Yeah. Uh, but the fields out around Bellwood still flooding. Yes. Okay. We're we're working on the tile that is going to be just north of Bellwood, mm -hmm. where that giant pond is. Yep, yep. We're hoping to drain that, alleviate groundwater pressure. So, gotcha. you know, we've we've got tons of stuff that are always happening mm -hmm. in the office. Um, I know that a lot of people, kind of the talk has been section corners uh, in this campaign, but really, it has nothing to do with section corners. Yeah, talk to us. Tell, tell our viewers, first of all, what's a section corner? What's that mean? A section corner is actually an established point. Okay. Only licensed surveyors can establish a point um, for a cornerstone. Okay. Uh, we call them section corners, but they're officially cornerstones. I see. And the job of a county surveyor in any place in the state of Indiana is to maintain them. A lot of times we lose them to snow plows. Mm -hmm. You know, they just happen to catch them and rip them out. Mm -hmm. Sometimes farmers rip them out. They don't realize that's what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, we drive mag nails into um, telephone poles. So mm -hmm. when utilities go through and rip out and put new poles in, mm -hmm. our job is essentially to maintain those points. Okay. So we go out and just set anything that's missing. Now are these tags? Are these GPS? No, what are they? They're little... Um, Usually the section corner is in the center of a road or some point I see. in a road. Mm -hmm. And the purpose of those is for private surveyors. Yeah. So any private surveyor, if you're having your land split mm -hmm. or what have you, you would call a private land surveyor. They would use that point in the center of the road to determine your boundaries. Makes sense. So even though you don't own to the center of the road, right. that's just a reference for yes. them. So we have at least a minimum of three on every one of those oh, to wow. make sure it's still good uh -huh. and still in the right spot. Right. Because you'll get a couple of them and, and they'll put them in different sections. So we try to, you know, just make sure everything's in place. So we, as a, as a county surveyor, the county surveyor has to maintain those mm -hmm. uh, for licensed private surveyors to come in and figure out which line bisects which line and where the boundaries truly are. Correct. And and our only job is to maintain them. Okay. Uh, Anybody, anybody in the state can come in, and if they're doing work and they establish one, mm -hmm. uh, the state allows us to pay for it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's not cheap, but it's not super expensive. Right. It's nothing we can control, so it, it's just one of those things that's kind of the nature of the beast. Right. Whoever does it can bring it in. Interesting. Uh, but our sole purpose is water. Yeah, and that's so, it's kind of a misnomer in that the surveyor... You think they're doing surveys. You think right. they're out there, this tract of land and this tract of land come together at this point and Correct. establishing boundaries. But in the counties, mm -hmm. the surveyor 
is really in charge of water drainage. Completely. Yeah. And, and even though we're primarily outside the city limits, mm -hmm. we do monitor uh, anybody that's doing anything new that's a business or a church. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if they're doing a parking lot or they're adding on, we've got businesses that yeah. are... We've got one that was putting a deck on. We try to make sure that everything doesn't add to right. existing problems yeah. in the community. Yeah. So you we don't think about that. that, right? Like a no. parking lot. A parking lot displaces water. It does. It does not absorb water. It, it displaces not. water. Yep. So, and, and then the the other thing that we really monitor is new additions or homes or, or even parking spots on the lake. Okay. You know, because a lot of times people take their small homes and they've lived there long enough, and they want the two-story, mm -hmm. beautiful house, we ensure that you are not destroying the neighbor. Interesting. So we make sure you're not just forcing water right. on them. And No and, anarchy here. Yeah, you can't we, just do what you want. We want to keep everybody <laughs> neighborly, right. so we monitor what they do as well. And, and that's what the board does. So Excellent. I've been sitting on the board for eight years now, okay. as long as I've been in the surveyor's Which board office. Which is this? The drainage board. The drainage board. Yep. Didn't so, know we had a drainage board. So we, we may have new meetings to start showing you here on Channel 4. Yeah. They're, they're not, no offense, <laughs> they're not super exciting. Not. We do have some heated public yeah. hearings, but... For the most part, they're real casual. Yeah. Everything goes pretty smooth. We meet about once a month. But the they're essential, Monday. right? But, they're very But important. they are. They're, they're essential because any anybody that wants to uh, reconstruct this 100-year-old tile system essentially has to go through the board. Mm. So we do all the work in our surveyor's office. Mm -hmm. We do all the shooting. I've been in the field for years helping out and shooting and, and helping put tile in mm -hmm. and feed Shooting, machines. what do you mean by that term? We walk through, we have a GPS system okay. and we take shots. So we use a coordination yep. of uh, satellites gotcha. and we can track and, and after we track these and, and do the placements mm -hmm. of what the new system's gonna entail, when it's all done, we go back through and we shoot again all the line and then mm -hmm. we put it online gotcha. so everything we do is online nice trackable so, and, and the trackable, next guy coming in knows everybody knows um, and we do have a few farmers it, it's not a law but as a courtesy they'll come in and give us private systems that oh. they've put in nice. so we go out and then we gps those private systems in so in 30 or 40 years if they've passed away mm -hmm. and somebody else buys it and nobody remembers what he did right we can actually pull the records oh, that's and show. Great. That's very so interesting. So you can sit at home and just type it on in, mm -hmm. and it pops right up. It's on our county web page. Nice. If you're bored tonight, mm -hmm. have nothing to do, nothing's on TV, just go to the county website and start pulling these up. I'm sure they're interesting. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're super interesting. <laughs> well, it, it's as we said, it's a very essential um, role here in the county. I mean, especially really with is. as much agriculture as we have in Fulton County. Um, and that 100-year-old drainage system and the tile system that's in, in place, uh, dilapidating. And our oh, job rough. is to go in and clean it mm -hmm. up and replace it. And Now, when, you, when um, new drainage tiles go in, and, and I, I'm getting off the subject of politics for a second, but when those new um, drainage tiles go in, are they rated for 50 years, 100 years? What's your hope in putting those in? Tough question? It, it is a tough question because really we use uh, double walled perforated tile in a lot of things we do, okay. which the double wall just pretty much ensures strength. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have a lot of different soils in this county. Yeah. So we have to do a lot of different things yeah. to kind of prevent it from depending clogging on, our... Depending on the soil right, and what it looks Depending on the soil. Of. <laughs> what we need to do, some has the sheer sock that gets put over it, mm -hmm. and, and that helps from stuff leaking in. And But then we also do a lot of things where it's stoned, and that gives it more of a supportive mm -hmm. base. But that's a little tricky because we have that's a lot right. of muck areas, things sink. It, it's really a nice balancing act, and mm -hmm. our contractors have done a great job. Uh, I've been working with them for eight years, and, and we have a great relationship with all the state and federal agencies, our local contractors, and a lot of farmers. Yeah. So, you know, we've we've worked together pretty well. But, you know, it, it's amazing that these 100-year-old clay tiles that are laid by hand, mm -hmm. dug by hand, mm -hmm. are even working. Right, at so, all. So, miracle, because, mm -hmm. you know, when it was originally put in, there was 
horses that were going mm-hmm. over top of it, <laughs> which even though a horse is heavy, it is no comparison right. to the machinery they're running over them today. Yep. Yep. And, you know, that does bear, sure. bear uh, you know, as far as the existence of the tile, how long mm-hmm. it lasts. We have yet to have one really fail nice. that is the double wall mm-hmm. polyurethane. Mm-hmm. And we're talking about the big but, tubes, right? The big black oh tubes my gosh. that you see the, on the back these of the are truck. Huge. Right? Yeah. We do 12, 15 inch, mm-hmm. uh, you know, 24. These are massive yeah. and, and they're heavy. <laughs> but, <laughs> but we put them in deep enough that they have enough cover. Mm-hmm. The machinery shouldn't crush them. As far as the span, we hope the last a hundred sure, years. Sure. But you know, it it's one of those things, yeah, it it's been around for a few decades now, but we really don't know how long the lifespan of it has the to be proven yet, right? Really. Right. Because it, it's just like anything that's brand new. Yep. We wanna say it's been tested and it'll last this right. long, but it hasn't been around long enough I gotcha. to see the the lifehood of it. That's we very, hope very interesting. A long time. Yeah, right. Because nothing's cheap. No. The the current project I'm working on, one of the big ones, it, it's one hundred and seventy one thousand dollars. We estimate high, mm-hmm. and it gets divided up into everybody in the watershed mm-hmm. based on what they have that flows into it. I see. And, and just because your neighbor might not have anything in it, doesn't mean you won't have anything right, in it. Right. You know, everything's based on the contours and shots that we take. So, you know, I, I get farmers that right now I have one, his reconstruction cost is estimated at 30 grand. Wow. And you've got five years to pay it back. Wow. So it's a lot of money. It is. You know, we don't take it lightly. We take it very serious. We try to make everything as smooth as possible. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't always happen. People don't always... You know, you've got the farmers that want it. Mm -hmm. People that don't farm don't want it. Mm -hmm. Some of the people that are older say Mm -hmm. they'll never see a return. So Mm -hmm. it's it's a tricky situation. Sure, a lot of uh, it's a tricky situation. A lot of navigation to get through those gates. Oh my gosh, it is. It is. (laughs) Well, very neat. Well, we're talking with um, Casey Hensley, right? Mm -hmm. Got her name right. Yep. And um, she's currently you're the deputy surveyor in Fulton County. mm -hmm. She's on the ticket. in the primary here, on the Republican ticket for county surveyor for Fulton County. Anything else you want to tell our viewers today? Well, I guess I just want to tell them that you know I've been doing this job for eight years as the deputy, and I absolutely love it. I love serving the rural community, even though I'm not a farmer. Mm-hmm. I thoroughly enjoy their satisfaction and happiness when we complete a project, because there's a lot to it. Sure. Uh, and I, I just can't imagine doing anything else. So I greatly appreciate any support, any votes I get. Sure. I look forward to doing this in the future and continuing the work. It's it's just fulfilling, and, and I just enjoy it. And, and people that work with me know mm-hmm. I really love it. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. it's kind of weird, but I do love working in the dirt. So. That's great. That's great. <laughs> well, I, you know, I, I've told all the candidates here privately and um, on camera how much I appreciate, and I know our viewers appreciate it as well, you're putting your hat in the ring. Right. And, boy, you right. get judged when you do that, and you've got friends and enemies, oh and people come out of the work, woodwork. But for all the candidates, I wish you the best of luck. I thank you for thank putting your you. hat in the ring and stepping up to lead and, and be uh, proactive in your community. So Thanks. I wish you the best of luck as I do all the candidates. Again, May 8th, that's coming up right around the corner. Get out and vote if you haven't already. Casey Hensley, thank you again. Thank you so much for having me. My pleasure. Thanks for watching here on RTC. Bye.